So in our study of the three different kinds of transmission, gas, liquid, and solids, here we're gonna look at those solid samples that we made using the potassium bromide and that two-ton press. Here's the sample in the disc from potassium bromide that I made. If you can see it real close, it's very clear and very thin. I've already put that one on the instrument and run my background, so I'm not gonna to need to do that again. Here is the sample that I made. So now I'm going to insert that sample in. The mount for it is simply these two little bars. This will slide into a carved mount inside, and then I'll lay this in place. So I'll open the sample compartment, insert the holder, insert the sample, just lay it up against the end, close the cover, and now I'll move over to the instrument. Now you can see the software is set up here for a moderate resolution, a four wave number resolution experiment using the potassium bromide, or excuse me, the, the DTGS detector, the, the uh, deuterated triglycine sulfate thermal detector and running at a moderate speed. I'm going to collect eight scans at four wave number. That's all I need to know. So let's go ahead and run. As I said, I've already run a background. So now it'll begin scanning. And when it gets to the fourth scan, you'll see the spectrum of the material appear. Then when it gets to eight, it'll complete the scan. It'll go ahead and just hit enter. So there's my spectrum. I've already got some libraries selected, so let's see if it can tell us what this material is. So we'll do a search very quickly, and the top search result is sucrose, which is indeed what we ground up in the uh, earlier video we put in to the KBR and ground it up. So for solid phase KBR pellet style spectroscopy, that's all you need to do when you get to the instrument. Place the pellet into the beam, run the experiment with the background of the KBR, and you're good. And that's it for the transmission of solid phase spectroscopy.